Welcome back to the channel. Uh, it's been a few weeks since I posted, so thanks for tuning in today. Um, got a, a fun day ahead. Today we are in New Jersey, and uh, this trip we're going to be focusing on three things. Uh, pizza, diners, and delis. Uh, I spent the first 15 years of my life in Jersey, and I come back here as often as I can, and uh, uh, I've got a list of pizza joints and a list of diners every time I'm here. I'll hit some of the favorites, but then I'll try some new places. So uh, today we're going to hit up two or three pizza joints. Uh, to, uh, tonight is, uh, we're also going to throw in some chicken parm there. That's my bar for Italian restaurants is chicken parm. So we'll throw in a few chicken parms. And uh, tomorrow we've got some delis, uh, diners for breakfast, and more pizza joints. So this is going to be a lot of fun. So uh, hit the subscribe button, uh, sit back, relax, and uh, let's go eat some pizza. Okay, here we go. Stop number one. This place uh, is iconic to me personally. So I've been coming here since probably 1976. That sounds crazy to me. Even to say that, it just sounds crazy. Um, small little place, hole in the wall. Um, been here obviously forever. Really good stuff. It's called Red Moon. Let me show you what it looks like. Yeah. This is the place. You can't go wrong with signs like this. So I'm going to run in, grab a slice, and uh, I'll bring it out to the car because I know the guys in there, they're, they're kind of shy. So I'll bring everything out while we eat here. Okay, here we go. Look at this guy. Classic Jersey slice. It's smoking hot. Just took it out. Nice looking crunch or crust. Okay, let's eat. Almost lost it. I'm telling you, they do a great job. The crust is great. Wow, cheese is great. This is a family-owned place, Red Moon. If you're ever in the area, stop by here. As I said, they've been here forever. They're making all the dishes right there. Uh, they've got a kitchen. It's a husband and wife, um, Italian. I was just talking with them. They're doing everything right. You, you order a dish here, and they're making it in the back in the back kitchen. There's nothing frozen. It's just great stuff. So um, I'm going to enjoy this. Hot, hot but delicious. After this, I'm heading down the road about 10 miles to Freehold. Hot. Sorry. <laughs> and then I'm going to pick up a buddy, and we're going to go to one of the local joints there. And there we're going to get pizza and chicken parm. Um, I was Sometimes I'll do a chicken parm sub. Sometimes I'll just do regular chicken parm. Um, I think I'm just going to go for the regu regular chicken parm. I'm going to be eating a lot of bread. So we may get some pasta. We may get some chicken parm. No, we're going to get chicken parm, but we may get some pizza. Um, it's a great spot. It's called Mateo's. It's right in downtown Freehold. A lot of action around there. Um, it's good. I've been there before. Um, this is one of the only places I'll do a repeat. This place and Red Moon here. Um, this, I like the guys. And uh, so I come back to Red Moon. And um, I, I spent uh, a lot of my childhood <laughs> about a, a mile from here uh, a long time ago. Too long ago. But talking about Italy, the big announcement. Um, the I'm heading over to Europe. Uh, my wife and I are gonna gonna head over uh, in three weeks from today. Actually, we're starting in Spain, and uh, we're gonna be in Barcelona. <clears throat> excuse me, Granada and Seville. We'll be there for uh, a couple of weeks, and I'll be posting all the time uh, where to where to eat. If you're walking around, street food. What should you be looking for? What do I think is great? Um, so we're gonna do Barcelona, and then we're gonna head to Granada for a week, and. I'll be filling you in on Granada. After Granada, we're off to Portugal for two weeks. After Portugal, we're in France for three weeks, and then we're in Italy for four weeks. So this is a big trip. We're gonna be there for a while. I'm gonna be bringing you videos from every town and, and every country that we go to. Uh, I'll be street food, restaurant food, what's good, what's bad. Um, so subscribe now, uh, set a reminder. I think you're gonna really enjoy those. I'm gonna enjoy making them, that's for sure. So uh, pretty excited about those trips. Um, yeah, it's coming up man, so fast. All right. Well, I'm going to head out. 
and uh, head to the next destination. Uh, and uh, stay tuned. We'll get uh, some chicken parm and some pizza. Okay, welcome back to the channel. So it's dinner time. It took me a little while to get down here and get to uh, where I need to be, but here we are at Mateo's. You can see it behind me. And we're gonna go in for chicken parm. We're gonna go in for some pizza. And it should be fantastic. It's crowded in there tonight. So uh, I'll take some pictures. Let's eat. Now that is chicken farm. That is chicken Romano. Chicken and cheese and vegetables, angel hair. Man, oh man. I think there's linguine under here someplace. Or it's coming on the side. I think it's coming on the side. Look at that. This is done the right way. This is not frozen patties thrown into a deep fryer. All right, let's see. Is everything okay? Are you missing anything? This looks oh, great, you man. This looks insane. That's a slice right there. Thin, crispy, smoking hot. Can't eat this yet. All right, this is way too much food. This is going to be a lot of fun. All right, let's see how it tastes. This is a great slice. Look at that. Okay, good morning. We're we're back. It's the next day. <laughs> Somebody just jumped in front of my phone on purpose, but he doesn't know that the it's reversed. So we're here at Amy's breakfast time, Jersey Diner. Let's see what we've got. Okay. We're in the diner, just got seated, pretty crowded. Pretty loud. I'm gonna switch to the menu so you guys can see the menu on these things. Um, the menu size. The menu size is crazy. Um, let me switch so you can see this thing. Okay. Drinks. Go to the very next page and look at this. Right. So, talk about selections. I mean, here's omelets. 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 I mean, look at this. Look at the size of this. I mean. Country style, they've got skillets in this place, waffle sandwiches. I mean, it, this is just, look, you go page after page. You're not going to get this in a lot of other places. And just about every diner you go into is going to have just ridiculous amount of selection. And here we are, and we're still in breakfast. This is still at page five. We're still in breakfast. So, I mean... Now we'll move over to the lunch. You've got burgers, wraps, lunch stuff. Um, the great That's the great thing about a diner. Now this diner looks like they're only uh, the breakfast, lunch. I don't even think they're open for dinner. So yeah, as I, as I was saying, this, guy, this place, they don't even do dinner. There are other diners that will be uh, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And the, at, you'll add in another three pages of menu just for the dinner um so it's crazy um you, you gotta love a diner uh it's just it's just an insane amount of food so i think i'm gonna go with the tried and true my favorite ham and cheese and uh home fries and rye toast and uh then we'll uh we'll see what happens here so uh the food will be, I'm going to put in the order. The food will be here in a little bit, and then uh, we'll be set. All right, talk in a minute. All right, I need to take a picture of a video of this cup of coffee. So portion size at diners, I don't know if I mentioned this, is something, right? Um, they're not small, needless to say. So they, they serve me, they're generous. So a lot of diners, a cup of coffee is a normal cup of coffee. Uh, you need to see this cup of coffee. Hang on. This is the trough of coffee this and it's heavy there's a lot of coffee going on here so this uh this bodes well for things to come all right more soon okay so 
this is something to see. So we're going to look at two things here. I got the, well, let me show you. Okay, ham and cheese omelet, home fries, rye toast. That is something beautiful. And look at this. Skillet, that's slipper skillet, eggs over, cheese, and I don't even remember what's under there. What's under there? Cheese steak. Cheese steak. It's a cheese steak skillet, so it has cheese steak, herbal beef, cheese, and potatoes. Oh, man. So when he busts into that, we're going to open that thing up and look inside there. And then, um, yeah, this is going to be crazy. All right, let's eat. He's busting in. Look at that. What do we got? So I don't like the yolk spilling over the skillet. So what I do is I kind of make a little well on each side, break up the yolk. I want to cut up the egg a little bit and then mix it all in. And then I'm in cheese steak skillet ever. Oh, boy. (laughs) That's awesome. Fork in the middle of it is just for aesthetics. <laughs> it's aesthetics. Yeah, we're we're diving in. I'm going in. Look at these potatoes. Yeah, look at that thing. Cheese steak skillet. Potatoes. There's onions. Mushrooms mushrooms. In there, onions. That thing is ridiculous. And here's what it looks like with the eggs. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm telling that would be it. I, I wouldn't eat again all day. Yeah, that's crazy. Alright. Let's go in for the omelet. Let's tell I'll tell you what it tastes like. It looks great. Diner style. So you've got the, the flat, cool looking omelet. It looks great. Mm. Ham got a really good salty ham on there that's a good ham too sometimes you lose the ham not here ham cheddar eggs giant omelet rye toast can't go wrong with rye toast delicious all right we're gonna eat this let me eat this whole thing all right we'll be back okay final thoughts on amy's this place is great um let me see that trying to get the bill from me won't give me the bill so amy's what we uh just had uh with one coffee one cauldron of coffee giant coffee uh 36 78 with tax so for, for the quality of the food what we got uh this is great so they've got we're in long branch long branch new jersey there's one in what's the other town burlington new jersey and also cherry hill so they got three locations. I highly recommend it. If you guys are out here, this is this is a good spot. Um, tons of food. Tons of really good food. All right. This afternoon, we're going to Harold's. If you haven't seen Harold's Deli in Edison, New Jersey, look it up. And you need to you need to stay tuned for that because these are over the top. Uh, uh, it's just crazy. Yeah, I'm scared. So, all right. As seen on man versus food. It's crazy. All right. I'll talk to you then. So, we just wrapped up Amy's, and we're in Long Branch. All right, so we're at the Jersey Shore. So what do I have to do? I have to go to the shore. So behind me, you'll see a nice little boardwalk area, and there's all kinds of good stuff. But then look where we are. We're right here at the ocean. Is there anything more cool than just having breakfast and just being at the ocean? It's... February, I don't know, 10th, and it's probably 50 yeah, some odd right. degrees, which is amazing. The weather's great. It's a little overcast, but the beach is great. And you look all the way down the boardwalk, there's shops, and there's people out, and it's scenic. Let's look at the other side. You look down the boardwalk, and there's tons of people out. And the beach is beautiful. I think there's too many times that people think of the Jersey Shore and they think of a TV show and they think of nonsense going on on the TV show. There's a lot to the Jersey Shore. It's There's, I don't know how many miles, hundreds of miles maybe, I don't know. But there's beaches, there's little beach towns. It's nice. It's quiet. Not every place is like what you see on TV. Sure, 
there's there's boardwalks with rides and games, and that has a, that's got its place. But there's cool places, and there's even places a lot more quiet than this. Uh, little beach towns all over the place. Um, it's nice. So we're going to chill here for a little while. Think about what we did at Amy's. That was over the top. And then we're going to carry on. All right. We'll be back. It's dinner time. Here we are. Look where we're at. Turning you around. All right. That's a two foot tall chocolate cake. That's a two foot tall carrot cake. All right. This is crazy. That's crazy. It is. We're oh. looking at ourselves. One slice is a whole cake. Yeah. My friend just came in. Oh, there he is. Here we are in Harold's. Let's look at the menu. This is going to be crazy. I'm scared about the size of the sandwiches. Soups, dairy, and here's what we're here for, sandwiches. And you're going to see some of these are, are going to be on the, the, the costly side, right? You're thinking, wow, an extra large sandwich, pastrami sandwich is 100 bucks. Look at that, it's 96 bucks. Yeah, it seems like it's crazy. But they're not meant for one person. These When these sandwiches come out, you know, an extra large is, you know, two feet tall. This is going to be crazy so you get grilled sandwiches triple deckers heroes hot open face i love hot open face sandwiches i'm telling you turkey a hot open face turkey sandwich is one of my favorite things i'm giving you a good view of the menu great how are you thank you for the water um okay so the, um, here's the deal with Harold's, and, and I'm not going to film these, the other people that are in here eating. Um, the this, this size of the food is, is crazy. If you get a, you know, a potato pancake, it's probably the size of a hubcap. Uh, the, the pancakes, in, you know, if you buy breakfast here, it, again, it's probably the size of a hubcap. Gigantic. Some of the sandwiches I'm seeing around here are scary. I don't know how one person can eat them. Um, big menu. Just showed you the menu. I'm here for pastrami. When I come to a deli like this, for me, it's pastrami. I love it. So uh, we're not getting the most, uh, the biggest sandwich ever, but it's going to be stupid. And they've got a prick pickle bar around here someplace. I got to show you this pickle bar. I love, I love pickles. Uh, so this is going to be something. All right, uh, we're gonna, I'm gonna uh, check out the menu, see what's going on. I'll be right back. All right, my friend just ordered an egg cream. So I'm going to, here's my hand for scale. I mean, this is like, if you're going to Oktoberfest and you order a, a two liter beer, that's what you're getting. So that's a liter? That's okay. It's a liter of egg cream. That's a lot of egg cream. All right, we're going to look at pickles. <clears throat> Okay. This is some pickles. My buddy taking the cherry peppers, sliced pickles, coleslaw. That looks like cornbread. That looks like regular bread. Definitely not eating bread. You got sauerkraut. Grab some, uh, I'm going to eat, uh, grab some dills. We just need one plate. Yeah, grab some of those. I'm a dill guy. I'm not a half sour or a sour guy. I'm a dill guy. I do want to taste the sauerkraut, though. Look at that. Please take all you want from the pickle, pickle bar for the dining room only. But that's okay. This is something else. When you come to a place like this and they've got a dedicated pickle bar like this, you know you're in the right place. You took, you, you took full sours? Oh, yeah. So we just went to get the pickles, right? While we were away getting pickles, which was not very long because the pickle bar is not far away, what did they bring by? We get back to the table and they have brought us a plate of bread. It's rye bread, unseated, 
You can get seated. Why do you think they would they bring us a plate of bread? Because the sandwich we're about to get is probably going to be eight inches tall. And it's probably going to have two pounds of meat. And they know that you can't just eat this sandwich with the bread that they serve it with. So they're going to give us enough bread for multiple sandwiches. Do I normally go to a deli and eat three pastrami sandwiches? No, I do not. I go to a deli and I eat some pastrami sandwiches, or I eat pastrami sandwiches. I'm a little nervous. I'm not, tell, I'm not gonna lie. I think there's gonna be a lot of stuff going home. Am I gonna order a uh, two pound, 18 inch tall slice of chocolate cake for dessert? No. Well, I can't say no because I really love cake. And if I buy that, I can bring it back to my friend's house where I'm staying and his whole family can dive into that. So that may happen. I, I, I don't know. But right now, we're going to enjoy the pickle bar pickles. And it's, it's going to be crazy. Um, okay, so now I'm really scared. And this is a horrible camera angle. I'm sorry. But it is what it is. They just delivered our food. Um, oh, yeah. So the look on my face probably says it all. I'm going to turn this around. You need to see what I'm, we're about to deal with. <laughs> okay. So here's the proof. This is my hand for scale. I mean, that's a large sandwich. Um, you can see that that top, the bread, there's no way you can eat that just the way it is. You've got to have the extra bread. That's an order of fries, a gigantic order of fries. That's a ridiculous order of fries. And it comes with a bottle of ketchup. And it comes with a bottle of ketchup. So that I'm going to try to dive into this and tear it up and make this eatable somehow. And then I'm going to come back and I'll tell you how it tastes. Okay, let's eat. Here's the deal. This is great. Um, I figured out that basically what you're doing is you're coming to this place and they're giving you two <laughs> multiple pounds of meat and bread and you just like build it's a build your own place the pastrami is great so um it's fresh cut um there's a, a good mixture and i'm going to show it to you there's a good mixture of lean and fatty i mean look at that if you guys like pastrami it's a great combination of lean and fatty um and then you make your own sandwich so let me see if I can lift this guy up. So you make your own sandwich. You can make them, you know, as, as big as as big as you want. And you can see I've taken a bite. And it's great. The bread is fresh. It's crummy, seasoned, great flavor. Well, wait, I'm being shown something on the menu or on the napkin very cute on the napkin it says how to speak deli and then it's got a bunch of little funny phrases that you can look at that's to distract you from the insane amount of meat that has just shown up on your plate um this is great and the, if you have the meat on its own you know which you know you, you try the quality of the, of the meat flavorful it's juicy it's tender it's got the spice the bark is delicious deli mustard brown spicy deli mustard if they show up with regular yellow mustard that's a problem they're gonna have a problem with me at a deli um coleslaw very good coleslaw it's uh you'll get the regular uh deli bowl of coleslaw and it's it's good. It's crunchy. It's fresh. It's it's sweet. It's got a lot of a lot of pepper in there. You can see the pepper on there. Coleslaw, super fresh, super crunchy. It's really sweet. It's good. It's, good. it's almost too sweet, but it's good. The pickle plate, um, fantastic. You can see we've got sauerkraut, peppers. A combination of dill, half sours, 
the fresh shower crowd is great. Hey, I need some fermented food, probiotics, right? Um, healthy. So I'm going to keep eating this. And I'll get back to you um, when we're done. Uh, I don't when I'm done. When we, we've done all the damage we can do to this, because there's no way this is all getting finished. Uh, although crazier things have happened when me and this guy get together. Um, yeah, this is insane. I'll be back. Okay. I'm not proud of myself. I need to sit here and think about what I've done. My friend over here is laughing. I want to show you something. Now, you remember a couple of minutes ago, I showed you what they served to us, right? Look at this. Yeah, it's gone. The whole thing. There's some fries left. But that ridiculous amount of meat, we've eaten it. Am I ashamed? No. Am I impressed? No. The one liter egg cream. Oh wow. He just burped right on this. You know, I may have to I may have to edit this. Now he's eating press. I may have to edit this out. I don't know. All right. We'll be back. We're leaving Harold's right now. The uh, look on my face is one of amazement, shock, and awe at what we just did to ourselves. <laughs> um, the food was great. It's it's not cheap. The the sandwich was forty five dollars. So that's not cheap. But in fairness, even though me and and my gluttonous friend polished off the entire thing, um, we didn't eat a lot today. We were planning for this. Uh, we could have easily fed two more people. The fries were fifteen dollars. That's a lot for fries. I know. And, um, but it's a gigantic portion in really good steak fries. Crunch, crunchy on the outside, soft on the inside, just flavored great. Uh, his liter of egg cream was seven ninety five or something. That's okay, because I think if you get a smaller one, it's probably five bucks. Any, any deli you go to is gonna be five or six bucks. So he got the monstrosity of one and it was, you know, seven ninety five. so that's a good deal. So. I was some of the, you look at the menu I, I was showing you. Some of those sandwiches are 120 bucks. Oh man, sticker shock! You think how on earth for a deli sandwich, right? Well, those I mean you, you're feeding six, seven people with those, and there you still have leftovers. So if you if you're here with a group and you order that, it's you know it comes out. It's like a you know circus act. You it gets it in front and you, you, they put it down on the table. You can't believe what you're seeing. But then you start dividing it up among six or seven people, even more, depending on how if you got big eaters. And all right, everybody's getting a lot of food, you know, and that's okay. Um, the food's great. Come to Harold's. Uh, I'm gonna go home and think about what I've done to myself here.